Hey guys, this is Ollie Benari, and this is my first video, and um, I'll be doing Shovel Knight for that. So let's get started. This is probably one of my favorite, probably, games of all time, maybe. It reminds me of a lot of other games that I've played before, like DuckTales, a little bit of Mega Man, and some other games, for some reason. But um, anyway, um, you know, you have to register your name to make a profile, and I did Alex. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, none shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate when a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broke and a grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vital power, the Enchantress, and her order of no quarter. Now the tower is unsealed and devastation leads. A new adventure is about to begin. Let's get shoveling. But um Yeah, anyway, the um order of no quarter is basically like trying to take over the world or something like that. And um yeah, you're trying to stop them, but um yeah, these, these dirt piles just give you money and whatnot. Some different jewels give you so much money. The most valuable, I think, is a pink diamond. That gives you 200, and then gold gives you 20. Sapphire gives you 15 or 5, I forget. Which are the blue ones? Oh, and you can see the um, Tower of Fate in the background right there. But I mean, yeah, your shovel basically helps you with a lot of things like right here. You could pop that bubble to get up here with doing a shovel jump. And right here is a checkpoint. Um, whenever it's guarded with the wings and whatnot, that's like a um, shield of some sort. Because you can't break it, but um, this is the first level, so they're going to have shields, but... Um, I think there's like one other time where they have shields, but it's not the first level. But um, if they don't have a shield, then you could break them and get extra cash from it, is what you call it. But um, here you have our first mini boss a sleeping dragon thing. Okay. And you could also attack with skulls. And in the game, there are a lot of um, little secret passages in some way, like right there. Even though that wasn't really a secret, you had to hit that to progress, but there are things like that. Like there. And we have Terrarius lines. Like over here on the left, there's a secret area right here. Once you get a music note, but, um, the music notes basically give you, like, um, how do you say it? They let you listen to in-game in -game music. And spikes, I think, are instant death. I, I don't know how to try. I don't want to die. Yeah, 
Get my dragon. Oh, there's another secret thing right there. Oh, a pink diamond, yeah. 200. And that's a turkey, which basically fills up your whole health energy or whatnot. And here we have another checkpoint. Followed by a bubble. And a terraria slime. Or terraria. One thing I suck at platforming. Well, another platforming session. And another music note. But, um, You know. Oh, there's another secret. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't even know that existed. Oh, a chest. Well, these give you, like, a lot of cash. But um, anyway, with the cash, you can basically um, use it to upgrade your health magic so you could use relics like fishing rods like flare wands things like that and you could also buy armor and some of the armor would basically give you different abilities so like I think they have this one I forgot what it's called but crap well first stuff in the game yeah but um, I think they have this armor that um, anytime you die, it has the uh, the gold you lose or cash you lose whenever you die. And every time you die, you don't get the exact cash you get. Like they do take away, like I don't know how much percent, but they do take away some of the cash that you get. some gold loss. Oh crap. But um, right now I'm playing this on the Wii U version, so not gonna be fighting Kratos or the Battletoads or anybody like that. In the comments below, say you would like, say what Nintendo character you would like to see as a boss in Shovel Knight. So like people like Link, maybe somebody from Fire Emblem, or Mario. And here we have another secret area. And chess. Pink Diamond. I'm saying this now, I know this, this is probably never going to happen, but the day I get 1 million subscribers, I will dye my hair purple. Purple or blue, one of the two. But here we go with our first net boss battle. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later, the Cerulean coward. <clears throat> Turn back, Shovel Knight, there's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I have no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses, can't you see? This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress, and her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the Tower. But none of that matters because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. Oh. Well, if that's Black Knight's voice, I guess I might have to change it then. But um, anyway, this boss battle is 
basically not that difficult because all I have to do is just basically shovel jump on him. Let's see. Let's see. But I'm further in the game. You have to fight Black Knight more, and every time he does get harder. And you can do that. One more time, one more time, one more time. Crap. Crap. Well, I'll do that again. Second death. In the comments below, say, um, also say if I, sh if you would like me to do Plague of Shadows when I'm done with the main story, which if you don't know what that is, it's just basically the same, it's a, it's basically like story mode, but with another night. I'm not going to mention his name because maybe spoilers, but you know, the game's, Plague of Shadows has been out for like, what, three months now? So, I don't know. But here you go, we won. No, well, and oh, there we go. The first level complete. Oh, look at that shield, my game complete. Let's go. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching my series, then. Oh, we have to catch her. But this is a dream. But, um, if you show the fire, then you could get, you know, money. Cash, I don't know what you want to call it. But as you see, this is sort of like um, Super Mario Bros. 3, where you could go to different levels. Village. Halt! No weapons. We have enough to worry about lately without everyone swinging swords around. Oh, haha, that's no weapon, just a shovel. You may enter then, and don't forget, press up to talk to everyone. Hail, traveler, I'm but a simple bard, but I have a big problem. I've lost all my music sheets. My entire repertoire lay scattered across the land. If you ever find a music sheet, return it to me and I shall reward you handsomely. Whoa, you have two music sheets. Magnificent. Take 500 gold for each. So at this point, you would say yes because you don't really have anything to gain from having music sheets. Let's see. Oh, you found a rival. Black Knight has fine musical taste, should have studied composition, but then suppose I'd be the one with the rival. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform it for you anytime, just ask, and apparently I can't read today. But um, here's where you could upgrade your health and magic, and if you talk to the Gotician, ah, decision, decision, should I expand my magic or health, or just eat a tin can? Why not buy my meal ticket and help narrow my options? So this, this will, the meal ticket will allow you to give it to the gastronomer, which he will, um, which he will cook you a meal and which will raise your health by one bubble. And here we go. Just basically open it like that. And I now have five um, health. But anyway. Ah, new face, dancers, acolytes, witches, goats, everyone's welcome in here. 
oh, that Spectre Knight, if someone could defeat him, I would bestow upon my, him the, my greatest treasures. Oh, woe is me, the king of nothing, not to rule, but my lone bar stool. King Knight sits on the primordial throne, that gl gilded goon, he'll get his soon. That rhymes. Double trouble, soil shovel, my third eye knows your useless info is extravagant. Yeah, I'm not gonna read through that. Thanks for helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch. But I'm right here. You could break that, and you could do a mini game. Sigh, I suppose pe peaceful solitude is much too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here, shall we pass the time with a little game? I'll just need 100 gold first. So, potentially, you can get more than you actually paid for to get this. So, it's worth doing this. And I just got 20 points there. If you get to 100, I think you, you get more money. Okay, 106, there we go. And on top of that, if you also get 100, I think you get a music note. I'm not sure. So let's see. You got 107 points. Yawn. Well, color me impressed. Yeah, you do get a music note. So you can get 500 more. But let's go to the right and see what we got. All right, here you can see that there was like a little line in there. So that's another music sheet. So let's see. Hello, fish friend. Wait, fish friend. Are you referring to me as a fish? All hail the Trouble King. Who? You've never heard of the Trouble King? Half trout and half apple, pronounced like mouthful. He's one of the Force Gods, here to help those in need. I'm telling the truth. If you ever visit the Sacred Grotto, hold your chalice aloft and the Trouble King will appear. As it happens, I have been entrusted to sell Trouble Chalices to believers. Would you like one? A vessel for storing with the Cligor. Sure, I'll get one. And Chester, hey blue guy, wouldn't you believe the mer- you wouldn't believe merchandise I got for you today why not have a look so this guy said sells relics like I was said earlier I think but um the chaos spear lets you do this and actually bounces around and damages enemies and the fishing rod oh crap this is why you sell your music sheets but um the fishing rod lets you grab I think sometimes music notes I'm not too sure about that, and um, on top of that, you can get some, um, you could get some fish resource help. You could also sometimes get truple wings, I don't know what you call them, to refill your eye core sometimes. And then I think you could also find golden fish, which is for money. But I must buy that fish rod. And we're basically done here. Are you really the Shovel Knight? Prove it by digging up this dirt. Whoa, incredible, you really are Shovel Knight. But if, um, you know, she moved a little bit more, I could do this. And get another music note and get more gold. Okay, I don't see. Who has awakened me? Mortal, douse, need aid? Aid me. 
I sense a trouble chalice. I can fill it with magical I-Core. That's pronounced I-Core. Choose your I-Core wisely. So the I-Core renewal refills all health and magic. I-Core boldness, become invincible for 10 seconds. And I-Core fortune absorbs nearby treasure for 60 seconds. I'll do the I-Core renewal. Subjects and new intent joins us. The ceremony shall be commenced. This thing, I apologize if I keep giving other characters the same voices. I'm new to this, so I forget which ones I give them. But, um, you know, he's like doing a waltz or something, so let's see. And here we go. Bear thee well, Shovel Knight. Return if thou hast need of my aid again. So, um, right now we could go against the Lich Yard, which is Lair Spectre Knight, or Primordial Keep, Lair of King Knight. So I do it like this. Um, if I get heads, I'll do. King Knight, and if I get Tails, I'll do Spectre Knight. Okay. Okay, I got King Knight. But you know how most platformers go right? Go left here, and you'll find a secret. And in the sparkling of the water, if I had the setting on, or the option on, I can change this and get something which I think is a golden fish or health or I didn't reel it in a golden fish which gives you 350 gold and here we have the Yacht Club game symbol and a music note And that little jar right there refills your magic. Oh crap. Oh crap. But um, the funny thing is, lava doesn't want to hit kill you, but I think that spikes do. Really isn't funny, but you know. Fun fact. And we have another magic fish. And let's see if I can get some health just to get my health over up. A sword. Fishing with Shovel Knight. A skull. This is my last time. And eat an apple. Oh, I can do it one more time. And a fish. But uh, anyway, wait, you have to wait just so you don't get damaged. But let's go, cicadas. Hella rats. I don't know what to call them. Hella rats. And you can deflect his own shot. And if you deflect the wizard shot, it does 
two damage, I think, instead of one with the shovel. Because if you hit him once with his own thing and then you hit him with the shovel, then you only have to do it, hit him once with the shovel. But if you don't do hit him with his fear, then you have to hit him three times with the shovel. But um, anyway, here's a checkpoint I was saying that without a thing. And you know, you get extra cash. And here we have another turkey. An eater turkey. Oh, you mean a fish. But um, let's try this. Oh, you can deflect that. But um, anyway, like whenever you jump around him, he shields himself and you get hurt from it. But anyway, if I'm able to do this right. Nope. Another checkpoint. I can feel pretty confident, so. Oh yeah, and these fall whenever you stand under them. But I feel pretty confident, so I'm gonna break most of them. Even though I probably just made the biggest mistake because I die here a lot. Okay, let's see. Hopefully I don't die. Oh, it would really suck if I miss a jump here. Okay, here we go, Chester. In the village or in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. Want to see? So this is a flare wand. And um, anyway, if you don't find him, Chester in the level, I forgot to mention this. But um, if you find if you don't find Chester in the level, don't worry, just go back to the village. And he will have the relic that was in that level, but it is about 500 or a thousand cash, sometimes more expensive than it is supposed to be normally. But um, wizard. There is a seeker right behind this wizard. Which actually does let you skip a partial amount of level. Kamehameha. And they have another chest here. But um, if you going up or staying up there wouldn't really do you any different, just besides skipping the checkpoint, which I'm gonna break. But um, you know, here's a mini boss. Oh, that really sucks. Yep, there you go. And a turkey. Yeah. Yeah. And we have no more rat. We have more rats. Now. Past right here, if I go fast enough, they have these rats that you can do that and get up here. Which leads to another secret. With wizards doing the Kamehameha. I think chest maybe? Or I missed. Or food, or I missed again. Or red ruby.
But um, when you leave the screen and reappear, enemies do respawn. Fortunately and unfortunately, fortunately, probably because I think sometimes enemies do drop items, but I don't think that often. There is a secret. And behind here there are supposedly some jewels. Do we have another? I should have not done that one. I don't know that was wise me to do that one. Well, I might die here. And I'm gonna have to start the whole level over again. Because anytime you break that checkpoint, that checkpoint doesn't count. Oh, oh crap. No the next part's hard, but um, you know, if I die, you'll know because I'll probably just edit that out. And right there, you. Oh crap. And this is a good point. Not right one. This is a good point to use our relic. But um, we're here anyway, so let's just see what we have. Wait, don't eat me, knight. The Trouble King commands me to share his bounty with you. All hail the Trouble King, the king fish and fruits. Long may his stems grow. Icor Boldness. So, we have the invincibility one. Three. Now, here I'm gonna use it because King Knight isn't that hard, but here I wanna use it just because of the um, enemies they have. And here we go, Turkey. Apple. Another griffin. Oh crap. But here we go, we're about to battle King Knight. Hopefully I don't die against King Knight. Like that, that would probably be the worst thing that could ever happen. An intrude wait. An interlooper is in our midst. Be gone from our throne room, Naive. I'm no I'm no more than an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress saw me for my fabulous regal self and now all bow before me. You're not a decent de de dandy. I don't know what that said. Prepare to taste justice. Shovel justice. Silence. So here right now, the Chaos Spheres, the Chaos Emeralds will probably help you the best. And, you know, this is a cheap club, but this is a cheap move, but um, the graffiti does hurt you. But here we go. Get the point. Alright, 
experience. Here we go. In the morning again. Collecting the extra cash. Now, I'll be ending off this episode here. Or, I'll do that first. I'll do this first. It just gives you extra cash. You don't have to do it. But, um, you know. And, slimes are just as dumb as they are. Slimes are just as dumb as Goombas are in Mario. Oh crap. Okay, I'm, I'm like almost done. But um, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thanks.